Hello friends! Today we're going on with another coyote myth, just because I'm really enjoying them, <laughs> so they seem appropriate. This one is Coyote Takes Water from the Frog People, and it's another one where Coyote is actually being helpful instead of problematic. This one comes to us from the Winton tribe. We're going to get right into it. One time, when Coyote was out hunting, he came across a deer that had already died. As he examined the corpse, he saw that one of its ribs looked suspiciously like a dentalium shell. Dentalium shells were used as money in those times. So he went up to see the frog people, because at this time, frog people were in charge of the water. The creator had placed them there to ensure that all peoples would respect the water, and not waste it. So, taking this rib, Coyote offered it in exchange for water. The frog people huddled together for a time in council, eventually agreeing that yes, he could have some water in exchange for the shell. But I am terribly thirsty. It's all right if I take a long drink, right? He said, yes, that should be fine. I said, all right, don't worry if, I'm, if my head's down for a long time. And with that, Coyote stuck his head completely under the water, up to his shoulders, with his front limbs in the water as well. And he drank, and he drank, and he drank. Soon, the frog people were concerned, for Coyote is a creature of the land, you see, and he should be coming back up for breath. So they shouted at him, Coyote! What are you doing? You are drinking too much. So he lifted his head, said, I told you I was really thirsty. I'm trying to get the coldest water from the bottom to ensure that I cool myself down. With this, the frog people relented and allowed him to continue drinking, not knowing that the reason he was reaching so deep into the water was to scrabble at the bottom of the beaver's dam that held the water of the frog people. Soon the frog people became concerned once more, for he had been down there an awfully long time. The coyote had been scratching and scrabbling at the bottom the entire time. So, when he lifted his head once more, he said, Oh, that hit the spot. Thank you. And he did an elaborate skip and bow and tripped, quite accidentally, of course landing on the dam, which promptly broke beneath his weight, releasing the water to flow down into the valley, where it formed rivers, lakes, and waterfalls. Now, the frog people were quite angry that their water had been released, that they could no longer control who had and did not have water. But Coyote just laughed and said it is not right that only one people control the water. I am sure with everyone having access, we will still respect it. Coyote did all that, and more, and that is why he is known as a trickster. I hope you enjoy these coyote stories as much as I do. I've always lived places where coyotes are nearby, but it's only recently since I've moved into my current house that I hear them on an almost daily basis because they live in the hills around my house. It's interesting getting to know them more, getting to know their, their myths and their stories, and to see them occasionally because I do see them uh, around the edges of the property now and then. If you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.